So as some of y'all know, we uh, I got married earlier in this year, and we got a couple of off-registry gifts that were pretty cool, but I think this one, this one might take the cake. Yeah. We are sitting in a 1950 Chevy Deluxe, the Fleetline model. There was the, the Fleetline, the style line, where the two came out, the four door and the two door. I spit on that one, don't even look. Don't even rewind it, don't even worry about that part. But this. <laughs> the way you want it. Ready to help you in business, in pleasure, or to see the USA. This is an original given to us by a family friend. And Linda, you're awesome, in case you see this, you're great. And this, this car was in, sitting in her garage for you know the past decade. And we were talking old cars one day. And I've got that Chevy Nova. You know, that's still my jam. I love these old muscle cars. I just love old cars in general. And we were going over this and she was like, you know what? I want to give you something as a wedding gift. And you, I mean, what could be better than this? This is awesome. Let's kick it off. Let's start this thing up. And if we're very lucky, it's going to start. <laughs> Need a ride away. <laughs> All right, check this out. Now check this out. All the glory, all the power of 1950. I mean, power, you know. So we are looking at the original engine, the original engine from 1950, it's a Chevy 216, inline six with a monojet carburetor and it's this thing's a blast in the past you have the original setup here there is this is one of the coolest parts of it this glass fuel filter which glass parts in an engine still blow my mind i don't even understand how this worked back in the day but as you see it's still holding up now 70 years later and uh yeah 70 right 70 years later 70 years so old such a cool car though and another really cool thing about this is the air filter which around the carburetor you always see these paper air filters same thing you get in, like in your air conditioning anything like that but in this it's actually a quart of oil so you just have oil surrounding it acting as the filter over your carburetor and it's an interesting design this is a cool little engine so one thing though one major drawback unfortunately of the older cars like this is vapor lock which is just the, the gas gets uh, to a point where it's just, it can't be sparked and the engine just locks up and you have to wait for it to cool back down. And vapor lock will leave you sitting on the side of the road in the desert in Texas for hours as you wait for the engine to cool back down so you start up and go. So, has a couple of drawbacks to it, but you know, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. We're not in a hurry. Another thing that I have found out about this car is it's a tad bit picky. This is a three on the tree standard transmission. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you this in a second. But the gears have a little bit of just, they've warped a little bit from time. You know, it's just time, pressure, heat, everything in this, this mechanical beast. And on occasion, they will just lock. So you'll be shifting out first, going a second, and it'll just lock up on you. You gotta pull over and reach right under here 
give these things a good shake, knock the gears back out, and you can get back in and drive again. So, not really a thing that occurs with cars in the 2000s, but hey, that's what makes it fun, right? faster people can walk, right? So that's high speed enough. Every time we cross a major intersection, there's a little bit of a prayer. <laughs> it's like, come on, Gar! We got this! We got this! Cross four lanes. I don't know what those are, though. Can't tell me. Oh, no! Just locked. So that, that's exactly what I was talking about. As you shift through these, if you do it a little bit too quick, it locks up on you. Well, let's let's take a look at uh, how to fix that. All right. Easy greasy. Easy to jeezy. Look. What happens when you wear what are these pants? Mm -hmm. What is that thing? <laughs> it's exciting. 